Now, would you rather a faster system that blacks out on you or a slow system that eventually works? Around 80 to 90 frames a second on the, on the graphics card, they're both using 100% of the GPUs. Just look at that right there. A massive 120 frames a second. Today, we're gonna be doing some 3D game development with Unity 3D, the one application that everyone's been asking for. And I have, this is the M1 Max 32, 32, the 32 edition. And this is the i9-5500M. They both got 32 gigabytes RAM. This one's got 32 cores, like I said. And we have not just the Intel version of Unity, we also got the Apple Silicon version, the one that's a, a bit beta. We're gonna be running them both, showing you the performance. And uh, to keep it short, yes, this one runs faster. Just letting you short, keep it preview. So let's start with some basic projects so you guys can follow along at home. Three, two, one, go. So the Intel one, first to the races. This is the i9 completely winning over probably a minute faster to load up. And the ARM, this is the M1 Max, it is uh, having a bit of a rainbow time over on the screen. And boom, about 50 seconds behind schedule. The ARM version is up and running. We're just looking at that ball right there, looking at that ball. And we can see that we're getting around 80 to 90 frames a second on the ARM version. And we're getting 50 frames a second on the i9. So there you have it. We have both versions loading on the, the game. The, <laughs> the M1 Max, zero fan noise city. The i9 is already at its maximum fan noise. Got to give it credit. The i9 did load up the level 50 seconds faster than the M1 Max. But that's not to say, because actually frame rate wise, look at this, super buttery smooths, almost 90 frames a second we're getting here, 95 frames a second, buttery smooth. However, the Intel one, it's claiming, it's claiming to be 37 frames a second. Just look how sluggish that is. But it feels a lot more sluggish. Memory, we're using 15 gigabytes over on the ARM computer and on the Intel, we're using 17 gigabytes. So in this sample here, we're using around 15 gigabytes of memory on the M1 Max, and we're using 16, slightly more on the Intel, probably because there's more, although it looks like it's just using one thread per core on Intel, so it's probably disabled hyper-threading. Whereas this one, I don't know why it's using less memory, that's pretty good. On the graphics card, they're both using 100% of the GPUs. So the graphics card of the M1 Max is maxing it about, really helping. And after a couple of seconds, you can see we got 90 FPS here. And here we've only got 38 FPS. So usability wise, it looks like the M1 Max is very, very more enjoyable to use. No fan, well, you've got 2000 RPMs right now on the fans, so it's slowly ramping up, but it's actually smooth as silk, so that's good. Let's try building this project though. Well, that was embarrassing. So it took five and a half minutes to boom shakalaka it on the M1 Max, and it took 10 and a half to do it on the Intel. Fan-wise, the M1 is going 3,500 RPM. This demo is using, oh, that's a bit slow. Both a bit slow here. There's definitely a lag. So there is some bugs to be sorted out. You can see that when I move the trackpad, it registers it a couple of seconds later. So the M1 Max was almost twice as fast to compile it and run it. As you can see, uh, there is a problem though. So there's a bit of response issues with this demo. Don't know what's going on, but I move the trackpad and then a couple of seconds later it registers. It's a bit weird. And if you look closely, because of the whole full screen notch nonsense, you can see that there's actually a bigger bezel on the M1 Max than there is on the i9. So yes, this one's fast to compile and uh, this one has a bit of bugs. It's a tricky situation to be in because you do get a lot more performance here, but are you as a professional willing to sit through all of the little minor hiccups you're gonna suffer through? Something to consider before jumping ship so quickly. What I'll do though is I'll quickly switch over to the ARM version of Unity, see if that's any better. That's why we are at 60 to 50 frames a second, but no, it is compiling compute variants. So once that's done, we'll get a true accurate representation. Compared to the Intel though, even when it's compiling, it's still a lot smoother. All right, so it's just finished compiling its compute business. And do you wanna guess the frame rate? Do you, do you wanna? Previously we're getting 90 here. 
And right now on the Intel, we're getting 37 frames a second. Just look at that right there. Eight milliseconds on a CPU, that's two milliseconds faster and a massive 120 frames a second on this M1 Max. 120 frames a second. That is like probably the maximum of the ProMotion display can do. It is just using around 80 to 90% of it. So yeah, we've hit our maximum ProMotion limited display frame rate for Unity. Apple Silicon, once they get that fully stable, it's gonna be good. Last test, we're gonna do a build test. Previously, it took about 10 and a half minutes to build this project from scratch. And it took five and a half minutes on the M1 Max. Let's see if it's any faster, compiling it on native Apple Silicon version of Unity. All right, so there you have it. A minute faster to compile. Performance wise, yep. That bug where it was lagging behind with the trackpad has now been resolved. And can you still use the editor with the application running in the background? We are using it right here and we are still using it right there. So it's a lot more of a solid system to use. Look at that. All right, so let me know your thoughts on the new M1 Max. Personally, again, I would always stray caution and say stick with what you have. There's no need to upgrade. However, it's a very, very compelling reason to upgrade twice as fast to compile, four times as fast to run. It's a very, 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 very sexy platform. The only thing left to do is just wait for the applications to catch up and hopefully they will because it looks like Apple have smashed it out of the park. Or oh, has the screen gone back? All right, so I was just about to say how amazing the double the speed and all that kind of stuff was on the M1 Max. However, always caution, word of caution. As you can see, the Intel one is slow and it's still compiling. But for some reason, I've got a black screen on my, on my, on my M1 Max. Just came, just came out of the blue. So, so the Max completely locked up. So even though it is twice or four times as fast when it comes to the GPU, there is gonna be some niggles and issues. This of course is the beta version of the ARM version, but we saw that when he compiled the Intel version, it was lagging wrong with the, there was lag with the trackpad. So there are gonna be some teething issues. Hopefully they'll be resolved in the next few months. And this is the way to go. But if you just wanna jump ship straight away and you're a professional, probably just hold back until they fix all the bugs and then jump ship. And then you'll, or, or be one of the pioneers, report all these bugs to Apple and uh, live your life in unproductivity. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show. Around 80 to 90 frames a second on the, on the graphics card, they're both using 100% of the GPUs. Just look at that right there. Now, would you rather a faster system that blacks out on you or a slow system that eventually works?